I'd like to welcome you to the North America Radio Guide. I'm Larry, your host, and we are all the way up to 550 kilohertz. Now, 550 kilohertz by the FCC's regulation is a regional broadcast frequency. Now, the most powerful at night is WSAU, Wausau, Wisconsin. This 20,000 watt nighttime signal gets into the upper Midwest and even the Great Plains states at night. It began broadcasting June 20th, 1947, and then it was on 1400 kilohertz on the dial. Later on, it moved to 550 kilohertz when WOSA went off the air. Through its two tower southwest directional antenna, it's a great copy. What do you say we jump in the Wayback Playback Machine? Go all the way back to 1969. Here is what WSAU sounded like. You and they're telling us all about the times to come. The time right now is 26 minutes after 10 o'clock. Roger Halminiak here with you from WSAU and WSAU Stereo FM in Wausau. Temperature is 73, 73 degrees. And a little more music with the barber himself, Mr. Perry Como. 550 kilohertz is a great DX frequency in North America. Lots of 5,000 watt nighttime signals out there. These are all at 5,000 watts nighttime, by the way. They include KFYR in Bismarck, North Dakota, KOAC, Corvallis, Oregon, KTRS, St. Louis, Missouri. A little bit of history about KTRS. They're owned in part by the St. Louis Cardinals Baseball Club. Now, it might sound a little strange to Cardinal fans because everybody in the Midwest, in the Atlantic, in the Rockies at night know that the Cardinals are exclusively on 50,000 watt Class A powerhouse KMOX at 1120 kilohertz, okay? But that wasn't always the case, okay? There was a short time when Cardinals baseball was actually heard on KTRS from 2006 to the 2010 seasons. Now, even though the Cardinals are longer, no longer on KTRS radio, the Cardinals still own a stake of the station. In fact, KTRS is known, if you're DXing in the Midwest, as the Big 550, if you happen to copy it at night. Another one is down in the Southwest. It's KTSA, San Antonio, Texas. They're at 5,000 watts. Here's a way back playback from KTSA back in their heyday. 55 KTSA. This is Michael Chase at 803. Stand alive. Some Saturday Night Fever. It's the BG. There's still a couple more 5,000 watt nighttime signals in the continental U.S. you can DX. The first is located in Bakersfield, California. Call letters are K U Z Z. The second one has a lot of history behind it. WGR Buffalo, New York is a 5,000 watt station and it's one of the United States' oldest radio stations. First coming on the air back in May 22nd, 1922. The call letters WGR means World's Greatest Radio. It uses a four tower nighttime array that broadcasts to a northwesterly direction but can still be heard into western New York, northeast Pennsylvania, and the greater Toronto, Canada area as well at night. On good propagation nights, it most likely could be heard just a little farther than that. Currently, it's a sports talk station, but it wasn't always that way. It's time for one more time in the Wayback Playback Machine. Here's WGR Radio Buffalo from 1975. Remember hula hoops? Round and round, you could really hurt yourself. How about he's tough? How about hoods? Hoods never wore white bugs. Oh, that's raunchy. Remember scoring on a date? I believe what you say when you say you're going steady with nobody else but me. Oh, they don't write them like that anymore, do they? Huh, Rick Nelson? Let me see who wrote that song. Dun, 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 dun. Great lyrics by Johnny Burnett. How about that? Johnny and Dorsey Burnett wrote the song. Remember that Johnny had a bunch of hits back in the 50s himself. 
in the 60s. And Rick Nelson for 1958. And I believe you're not going steady with nobody else but me. It's 23 before 11 o'clock now, GR55. Congratulations, Tony Onello of Massachusetts Avenue in Buffalo. And uh, Tony wins two tickets to movies for the uh, seven-letter word wild. In appearance, it would be Haggard, as in Merle. There's a country western singer named Merle Haggard, H-A-G-G-A-R-D. And he is, too, <laughs> or has been at times. Haggard, H-A-G-G-A-R-D. Haggard was the word, and Tony wins two tickets to the movies from GR55. Speaking of country and western, you know, country and western has really been a big influence in pop music for a lot of years. Here's an example, 1970, Crosby, Stills, and Nash with Teach Your Children. I'm not really sure if he was making a compliment to country western. Okay, let's go with that he was. Okay, <laughs> we'll just say he was. That's WGR from Buffalo, New York, back in 1975. They were what was called an M.O.R. station, which was called Middle of the Road. Not many of those stations left anymore, but that's part of radio history. Speaking of radio history, that's why we exist. And if you want your radio to hear real well, I want you to tell we, we are sponsored right here by Vlado at HamRadio.Repair. Vlado's the man that has the plan to make your radio sound as good as it can. Don't make your clunky radio throw in the junkie. You really need to send it to Vlado. I'm telling you, if you don't believe me, take a look at our unboxing of our Panasonic RF2200 receiver. It's one of the items we have within this channel, and it is truly something to see because that radio was really, really kind of a little messy, and Vlado got it looking like new and sounding as good as new for sure. So get hold of Vlado if you've got a ham, a transistorized shortwave or ham set, two-way radio, give him a call, see what he can do for you to help you out. It's a part-time gig for him, but he's there to help, and he's an honest, fair man, charges reasonable prices. That's Vlado at hamradio.repair for all your radio needs. We'll get together again for 560 kilohertz, and thank you so much for paying attention. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to know when we put those new videos up for you. And until then, please remember, it's one thing to know what you hear, but it's another thing entirely to hear what you know. Until next time, goodbye, everybody.